This series of videos will be a closer look at action figure lines that were close to becoming a failure in the toy market, but ended up hanging in there making mediocre sales. Today we take a look at Hasbro's Cops and Crooks Almost Failed Action Figure Line. With caps. Hasbro was no stranger to tie-in toy lines from cartoon series, as they had huge success with Transformers, G.I. Joe, and other toy lines. In 1987, Hasbro was looking for a new line of action figures that could go along with the TV cartoon series. Work started first on the toy line, after Hasbro sold concept drawings from a toy design firm called Cops and Robbers. Like in the plan, but not really some of the concept work, Hasbro worked along with the firm to come up with a new better plan. Fearing that some other rival toy company might hit the market with a line of Cops and Robbers named action figures, they worked the toy line under a secret code name called Spock was with just cops spelled backwards. After redoing things, only two of the original figures were kept. That would be the cop known as Highway and the evil crook, Big Boss, who looked a lot like Spider-Man's foe, Kingpin. As toy designer Bart Sears worked on the design for the Cops and Crooks action figure line, Hasbro was meeting with animation studios for a cartoon to be tagged with the release of the figures. Hasbro would strike a deal with Dick Animation City for a cartoon series. For that series, the end crooks would be dropped from the title, with the cartoon series only having one word, cops. The action figure line was made up of two sections of figures. The good guys known as Central Organization of Police Specialists, or cops for short. The other figures would be made up of the bad guys, or in this case, crooks. A backstory was set up for the cartoon and toy line. In this future time where crime is rampant, a national cartel headed by the ever-elusive Big Boss was responsible for much of the activity. He has enlisted some of the nation's most notorious bad guys to do his bidding. They are known to be involved in armed robbery, interstate transport of stolen goods, extortion, racketeering, counterfeiting schemes, and loan sharking, among other crimes. The police was unable to do anything about the crime wave, so the new organization was formed and their job was to put Big Boss and his minions behind bars for good. In Series 1, there were seven cops. Barricade, Bulletproof, Highway, Long Arm, Officer Browser, Sergeant Mace, and a cowboy cop called Sundown. For the crooks, there was Berserko, Big Boss, Buttons McBoom Boom, Dr. Bad Vibes, and Rock Crusher. The toy line hit stores in 1988, a few months before the cartoon series would hit airwaves, and a DC comic series would soon follow. The action figure sold well. It didn't break records, but it sold well enough for Hasbro to commission a series 2 of figures to be released in early 1989. The cartoon premiered on September 19, 1988, and had a harder time finding its audience. It seemed kids playing with the figures didn't care much for the cartoon. 22 episodes would be produced in air, but the cartoon series would end after season 1 on December 16, 1988. In early 1989, series 2 hit stores again with two sets of figures, good guys and bad guys. The cops were Apes, Airwolf, Checkpoint, Inferno, Nightstick, Powder Keg, and Taser. The crooks were Bullet, Hyena, Cuckoo, Louis the Plumber, and Nightmare. Overall, between Series 1 and Series 2, nine vehicles would be released, some even coming with action figures. Series 1 sold well, and stores were ready to order Series 2. However, the new of the toy line had wore off with Hasbro, and they were now sinking all their money into their next big thing, Air Raiders. Expecting it to be a huge hit, Hasbro does what they still do today. They overproduce Air Raiders and flood the market. As for cops and crooks, they produced just enough to fill the second round of orders. Air Raiders would fail, and Hasbro would have huge reorders for the second series of Cops and Crooks that they couldn't fill. There was no time to start up production again. That would take months or more, with orders not being filled until probably the end of 1988. With no real option left, and with a lot of stores upset that they couldn't even get Series 2, and those that could, couldn't get more to meet demand, Hasbro pulled the plug on Cops and Crooks and canceled the line. Although the Series 1 sold well, and Series 2 did get produced, Hasbro didn't believe in the toy line and ended up upsetting retailers, causing the line to die off too soon, making this an almost failed action figure line. It's crime fighting time. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs> 